visit ticketcompare.com. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. Ticketcompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. How you doing? Um, what was the difference today? Quality, experience, belief. Were there any positives to take from it? Uh, probably not really. I think I think the younger players will probably gain experience from playing in an environment like that that they probably haven't had before. But I think that's more of a longer term thing that they'll get, not necessarily today. Is it one of those you should put down to win against an informed team in a derby? No, not really. Not, no, not really, because we've been informed as well. So, uh, no, like I said at the beginning, you know, the quality, the experience, and the belief. I'm not talking about an average team here that we're playing against today. You know, they're packed with quality, packed with. Premiership experience used to play in environments like that where I think there was a few of our boys today that actually didn't look like they had the belief to play in that game played very well of late quite inexperienced a few of our boys as regards that um, I think after the first 25 minutes once you got through that period that seemed a tough one for us we weren't on our front foot where we have been in other games in recent times um, then potentially if Sam's shot goes in that might have given us a little bit more belief to come in at half time rather than just talking about the belief if you know what I mean but we lacked that today um, didn't stay with a runner for the first goal we talked about Adoma coming inside coming inside dealt very well with Snodgrass coming inside today Maxim Collin played very well against him um, but we didn't deal with that one, and he's come in, and he's just snuck in off the off the near post. We didn't get, an, we could have got a, maybe a block on it. One of the centre backs could have come over if they'd have realised that a bit quicker. We didn't do that, um, and we talked about anticipation in the game at half time. And we didn't anticipate there was a long ball put in our box, header one. Didn't anticipate getting onto the second ball quick enough, and then Hurahan scored the second goal. Um, after that, it becomes a very uphill task. You mentioned before Christmas a kind of anxiety, maybe about the players. Are you worried about that creeping in back in now, or do you think the great form from the past few weeks shows that they've got over that mountain and maybe today's more of a one-off? Well, you hope that today's a one-off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that um, anxiety has crept into us now for probably two months. You know, they've played a lot better for two months. So we'll only know that by the time we play next weekend's game and the games thereafter but um, to today's game like I said just looked a little bit too big for a few of our younger boys they haven't performed today like they have done of, of recent weeks so it'll be good experience for them but painful at the moment What you make the red card at the end? From a distance before you look at it on a laptop that you don't get very good camera angle of it looked like there was a more than checking Doy involved if you know what I mean and then on a laptop, it's not quite clear as to what happens because even though he's a big, strong boy, he is not um, volatile. He's not aggressive in that manner. So in his broken English, he said that somebody had grabbed hold of him. But that's as far as I've got really with that. Whether he pushed him away or what, I don't know. I mean, you guys might have seen more than I've seen with all the camera angles and that that would have gone on around the game. So it's a difficult one for me to comment on because it's so far away on the laptop. So just for Czech to get involved in that and him sent off, I'm not quite sure about that. I think there was a couple of decisions that didn't go our way in the second half that really should have done, but you're away from home.